uh, when I was married to my ex-husband, um, we were living paycheck to paycheck and he liked to spend. So when he spent, I had to go get a second job so that I could cover his expenditures. Then when I got divorced, I had a little cushion in my savings, in my checking account, and I was fine with that. And I said, oh, I have money, I have money, I have money. Then I started seeing my cushion disappear. And I had still had a written budget, but I just wasn't following it. We have monthly classes. That's this, right? We're gonna meet once a month for 10 months. Each, each month time. had a different it topic. Is, yeah. And so I knew when I was going into class what the topic was going to be. And so it wasn't bombarding you with all this new knowledge. Every month you got something new to learn. And um, you had homework every month to, to you know, help you with the, that, that month's topic. My coach came to me and saw that I knew what I was doing and I knew what I needed to do. Um, so she just kind of, um, reinforced and, and, and supported me in the fact that, yes, you're still on the right track. Uh, as a result of Bank On, I was able to um, see um, the end with my, with my budget. I knew that I had some short-term things that I would have that credit card paid off by X amount a month. And then when that month came up, then I said, okay, now I need to take that money and do the snowball effect and say, now I want to add that money to something else so I can start paying down my debt. Anybody who is struggling with their income and their debt and trying to figure out, okay, I, I have so much debt, what do I do? I need to better myself. And those people need to come to bank on because Bank On doesn't judge you. Your coach doesn't judge you. The teachers don't judge you. It is there to teach you and train you um, how to make your life better and to get yourself through the situation that you're in.